Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So every Saturday, we bring you some inspirational stories. And today, we have this beautiful girl, Hina Pegam. As it has been beautifully said, that I raise up my voice, not to shout, but so that the voice of unheard can be heard. So ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome Hina Pegam to our show, She Flicks, the GWC talk show. Welcome, Hina. Thank you so much, dear Akansha, for having me a beautiful talk show. It's, it's so good to be here with you. Wonderful. How are you, Hina? I'm doing well. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. So, Hina, uh, until few people join in, we just want to know uh, about your background, like from where you are, though we have shared your story a bit at our platforms, but people would definitely love to hear from you. Sure. Originally, I'm from Afghanistan, but uh, in India, I'm living as a refugee. So my journey is about inspiring all the refugees around the world. Wonderful, wonderful. So if I talk about uh, how did you start your journey? Because as far as I know about you, you are a brave girl, indeed a brave girl. So how it all started? Just share uh, the, the complete thing in detail with us. Well, I remember from a very young age, I could not stand oppression, violence, and misogyny against women. So seeing yeah. all these in my fam close family, friends, relatives, all these make me enter the field of journalism. So I go into the field of journalism and start writing for, uh, for women empowerment, raising my voice against the, the, the mistakes uh, made in the name of religion and uh, start uh, working for Oman empowerment. So all these, like uh, in a country uh, where uh, Afghanistan is not a um, democratic country. So all these was not much easy in Afghanistan. So that's why I was forced to leave Afghanistan and uh, and uh, moved to another country and I in that time I thought the best option for me is Bharat so I just uh, come to Bharat and after coming in Bharat so uh, completely my the life journey changed uh, when I was in Bharat I got so much love in India Lobone itna apna pan dikadia jo ske baad like completely my life journey change and uh, yeah I, um, so, uh, I uh, like more powerfully uh, I start working for Oman empowerment and uh, like uh, some people some other uh, refugees believe that in other country as a refugee we can't do anything because uh, people don't give us opportunity. And I think uh, that's totally a wrong idea. Like, uh, as I said, uh, India has changed my life journey. Few people have already joined in, so I would request you all to share this video on your timelines and to other groups so that other women can also get inspired. So, isko, uh, share karna bilkul mat and keep commenting. And if you have any questions, do share with us. So, Mohini ji has uh, joined with us. Hello, Mohini ji, kaise hai Please share this video so that few more people can join in or dusro ko bhi invite kijiye. Thank you so much. So that's that's an inspirational start because uh, if a child has this much of uh, sensitivity to the environment this is great and we all should as a parent we all should uh, be very sensitive to the needs of the kids and also we should make them understand that how important empathy is wonderful wonderful so uh, what actually made you to made you uh, to 
be the voice of other women actually it is uh, silence and the fear of other women meet me to a voice of other women uh, because the right. uh, wrong mentality uh, that uh, if a woman stand against violence or is, uh, like uh, raise their voice uh, people think like uh, she have no origin or she uh, she don't have a good personality and uh, like i want to uh, prove that this is wrong mentality at all and uh, and all these make me to be voice of other women the silence and the fear of other women can you share one incident uh, which uh, actually uh, inculcated or incorporated this thought in your mind that women are scared and they are scared to raise their voices uh, was there any incident that had an impact on your mind yeah uh, first of all like uh, their families don't allow uh, women like uh, they are like samaj kya kahega what people right. will say Bilkul. like uh, all this is a uh, problem that uh, stop women for uh, raising their voice and uh, like after getting married they don't want to do something in their life and they want to only a housewife and all these like uh, in laws what will our in laws say or uh, what family say all these problems that uh, women have right right absolutely so uh, was there any struggle was there any difficulty uh, that you faced uh, i would rather say any ups and downs in your life in this journey uh, actually moving to another country uh, like and uh, starting everything from yeah. zero is not at all and especially when you are working uh, for religions like uh, as uh, i said i am researcher about religions so i'm i'm uh, writing and raising my voice against some mistakes that people made in the name of religion and abuse women uh, in the name of religion they don't uh, have the right of uh, education study work or whatever like all these uh, like even still i'm facing problems like uh, people uh, like when i write about uh, religious things so people want to stop me like uh, all these like uh, working for religion i think it's still not a easy work and people don't yeah. like it yet. so uh, yeah i faced a lot of problems uh, one problem that i leave uh, my own town but yeah today i'm happy that uh, i'm in india because india gives me whatever i need in my life so uh, i'm okay. really proud like that i can uh, call myself an indian i'm an indian so it's a proud so uh, any one word that you would like uh, uh, to share your experience in just one word if you would have to share your experience in afghanistan in one word in afghanistan like people don't have the freedom of speech the freedom of uh, even to matlab they can talk about religion about like it's not a democratic country so like right. yeah one thing so uh, now since you have reached a point where people know you where people uh, acknowledge your efforts where people invite you to shows and share your stories and uh, people understand that you have your share of challenges you struggled to uh, help other women raise their voices so you have a page also a uh, voice of women if i'm not wrong right Yeah. so uh, why that page actually started and what was the uh, motive behind that page uh, because i want to write and uh, write uh, and tell the stories of women that uh, people uh, don't know them i want people right. to know 
other uh, women from backward countries. Uh, so uh, that's why I make the page and uh, I write uh, a lots of stories, uh, stories of women from backward countries in international, national and international magazines, uh, newspapers. Uh, so today I'm able to show uh, the life and the struggle of uh, other women from backward countries to all over the world. So how many stories so far you have covered on a page? Um, maybe more than 20 uh, stories from very uh, like famous journalists from uh, backward mm. countries, writers, lots of uh, people that uh, they are not famous, people don't know them. Like uh, today I'm mm. able to uh, show uh, this uh, women to all mm -hmm. world and people get to know them. Mm -hmm. And how were you able to connect with those women? Because uh, though I understand when, when there's a way, there's a will. When there's a will, there's a way. I'm so sorry. So uh, when you have that mindset of helping others automatically that that uh, god helps and paves that way for you but we would, would love to know how you were able to connect to those women and how you were able to uh, reach to them for helping them uh, uh, a lot of people do contact me because the when the yeah the airport One. my way contact me and uh, people are very interesting they want me to write their stories right so uh, we would like to welcome savita sinhaji she is a lawyer by profession and the author of a wonderful book uh, rising in love uh, with your in-laws so she is there to watch our show thank you savita ji it's an honor that you are here uh, request everyone who is watching us to share this video wherever they can and Savita ji says, wow. Thank you, Savita ji. Indeed an inspirational story. So if I would ask you uh, the success mantra, because every time when somebody faces uh, some struggles, some uh, downs in their life, they actually quit that their way, their goal, their mission. And uh, they uh, adapt the normal, the, that normalcy in their life, they adapt that. But uh, that normal is quite abnormal, I would rather say. If you are not able to pursue your goal, if you are not able to pursue your mission, that actually uh, weakens your uh, mindset, that weakens your identity. So what was that one thing or what was that success mantra for you? Uh, if I summarize it in uh, two or three words, it's my confidence, courage and fearlessness. Wonderful, wonderful. So we have a question for you from the audience. And it is, what inspired you to undertake this? All right. So though she has already told us, but then for you, Savita ji, uh, we would like to know once again, because that is definitely going to inspire many other women. Uh, as I already said, the fear and the uh, silence of other women makes me. Right. So she has uh, seen, she has faced some situations uh, in her childhood where uh, uh, she has seen women who were uh, scared, who were afraid to raise their voices, who were uh, suppressed, oppressed by a few people. So that, that made her right. So another question from Savita ji for you. What are your future plans? I don't know, uh, like uh, uh, five or ten years uh, um, from now, uh, but I'm sure I will uh, touch the sky. I, I'm sure I will do something different in my life, and I'm sure I will be an inspiration for all uh, refugees around the world amen I amen I definitely definitely for sure so uh here i just want to know because uh we connected through voice of women we connected through as far as i remember we connected through that only so i want to know uh, 
is there any plan or is there any uh, future endeavor that you are soon going to launch uh, in at boys of women Yes, yes. Uh, like right now, mind you, is not active in India. It's active and it's more uh, mm -hmm. in USA. Yeah. So uh, I just uh, I have the plan in future to uh, launch my Indian okay, in uh, India. So like I'm working for this right now. Wonderful, wonderful, definitely. So, what uh, is there any association uh, with somebody or some organization in India where you are helping the Indian women as well? Uh, yes, yes, there's a lot of NGOs like uh, Aesthetics International and uh, Navdishri, and uh, more like uh, Women Stand for Women. Uh, there's a lot of many NGOs that I'm working with them. Wonderful, wonderful. So uh, since uh, Savita ji has joined us uh, a little uh, late, we have already discussed about, but then we'll repeat it for you. Uh, please tell something about Boys of Women. So she actually wants to know more about Boys of Women. Uh, basically, Boys of Women is an uh, NGO uh, active in USA, and also it's a platform. Uh, like I have page in uh, Facebook. Instagram and I'm covering all the sex stories, all the untold stories of women across the globe. And that's wonderful. That's really wonderful. So uh, at, at such a young age, uh, where people uh, uh, think about their studies, think about, you know, uh, their uh, crashes and uh, relationships and all those things. So this is such a big issue. But as I said, sensitivity, that requires sensitivity, that requires empathy. And uh, you are uh, gifted with this uh, virtue by God since your childhood. So yes, of course, a child has an impact on his or her mind when she faces or she sees some uh, incidents. But how how it developed in your mind that it, it will go this far? I will take it this far. How how it went this far? Like, oh, there was something else in me that I want to do something different in my life. I want to I want my life journey to be different. So that's yeah. why like uh, maybe from ten or twelve years old I I start working in TV. On that time, uh, working in TV mm. like not easy at all. But uh, I was working in one of the most famous TVs in Afghanistan. So like from that time, something else was in me. Like I don't want to live like a normal person. I want to do something. I want right. to sky higher. So yeah. That's great. That's great. Wonderful. So now we would like to know about your achievements since you have been doing so uh, many great things. And I'm sure there have been so many accomplishments and achievements uh, that you have achieved so far. So we would like to know about that. Uh, the list of awards are so long that <laughs> I think we don't have much time. But uh, some of the titles that uh, I uh, recently I I won the Global Change Maker uh, title from one of the more biggest organizations from UK. And also I'm the uh, recipient of uh, uh, Queen Award from USA. And, uh, yeah. uh, and I think all these awards, books and magazines are not the real achievement of my life. But that people get to know me globally and they get inspired by me. That's the real achievement of my life. Wonderful. Wonderful. We wish a lot of success to you in future. So we have one more question to you. And it is uh, being different continuously has its own challenges. Share yours, if any. When you try to be different from the league, when you try to be different from uh, the rest of the people, then it has its own challenges. So I'm sure yeah. you must have faced many. Exactly. Like uh, one of the bad experiences that I have, I lost a lot of people from my life because 
So uh, we have few more people who have joined in with us, and uh, let me just check. Savita ji, Mohini Babar. So people who are watching us, please, please share this video wherever you can, so that many other women can get inspired from Hina. so uh, yeah recently i published my book in usa in the name of my pen there, there seems to be a, a technical issue which we really can't help that all right can you hear me Yes, there there is some network issue, so we wait for few seconds uh, until I ask uh, the next question. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I was telling about one our last. So last but not the least. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So I will tell everyone. Wow! Thank you, Ving. the joint work of 17 successful women around the world that the book recently published in yes so i would suggest everyone to read the book and know more about the success stories of some inspired phenomenal women absolutely wonderful the seems of uh, seems to be very amazing and definitely we would love to go through this book definitely So the last uh, question, uh, or rather, I would say, uh, a a tip or a message from Hina Pegam to all our women who are listening to us, or um, would be listening to us in future. Any one message that you would like to give uh, to our women who are listening to us? Uh, like, uh, I just want to say, stand for your rights, raise your voice. like your uh, voice is so like uh, you never know how powerful your voice is uh, and uh, one thing more i want to uh, tell people let's forget about religion let's love each other uh, all the people is same there's no uh, difference between people we're all human beings so let's forget about religion cause and lots all these and love each other respect each other beautiful 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 express let's love each other respect each other and, and uh, as the motto of global women now click says work together grow together because as when you talk about being united we can actually make a difference all alone we cannot so we need support of each other so love each, each other and respect each other and work in collaboration with people wonderful that's wonderful so if you have any any other question uh, we'll wait for a few seconds and you can ask hina i'm sure uh, i i got inspired from your story hina and i am, i must say we need more people like you we need more people like you to bring a change as uh, they say uh, to be the change to bring a change you need to be the change and definitely you're working wonderfully in this you're working wonderfully in this thank you so much your akansha your inspiration for a lots of uh, women yourself like i appreciate your work 
Also. Thank you, thank you so much. Gratitude. We're just trying to bring women like you together so that uh, all together can work and grow. So no more questions. Uh, it was wonderful uh, being with uh, Hina Pegam today. And thank you, Savita Mohini uh, Babarji, for joining us. And uh, please share this video so that the story can reach to many other women. And they can get inspired from this lovely woman because she is the voice of women. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining in. A heartfelt gratitude to Hina Pegam for sparing her uh, some time from a busy schedule for today. Thank you so much, Hina. Thank you. Having me a beautiful show once again. Thank you.